Professor Yeah, it's an honor to sit down with you and talk to you about your uh, Nobel Prize uh, uh, work and discoveries. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about uh, atto second physics? Uh, yes, so atto second physics is the science of uh, generating atto second uh, light pulses and then using these pulses for um, uh, more research to look at uh, electrons in, uh, in atoms and molecules. I did your work uh, in 1987 uh, and uh, ever since uh, uh, brought forth uh, this uh, new branch of physics. In the work of uh, 1987, uh, what we discovered was the generation of high order harmonics mm -hmm. of the laser field. And um, just a couple uh, of years afterwards, uh, then came the idea, not by me, by other people, uh, to, uh, that uh, if these harmonics were um, phase locked, which means that they, uh, they are synchronized uh, at a certain time together, then this could lead to the generation of very, very short light pulses in the attosecond range. And one attosecond is 10 to minus 18 seconds, it's very, very short time. So, this was new and uh, a new way to, uh, to create these pulses, so this was very exciting. Atosecond physics, as you mentioned, uh, helps us uh, study electrons uh, and their motions. What are some of the applications or new discoveries uh, you hope atosecond physics will bring? It's uh, difficult to, to answer this question because uh, it's still uh, at the beginning, and uh, it's still uh, very much basic research. But um, the idea is we, we start to uh, uh, control, could be, we are able to measure the motion of, of electrons in, uh, in matter, and may possibly we can control a little bit this motion, and uh, this could be important to uh, possibly control some uh, uh, chemical process, or possibly biological process later on. So uh, maybe to that's that's the idea behind uh, the, the future applications. Thank you very much. Uh, for a completely different uh, change of subject, what advice uh, would you give uh, young people in science today? Uh, I, I will uh, tell them to uh, to be. Uh, uh, obstinate and to, uh, if they have an idea or a field that they like, they are motivated uh, for, they should try to continue in spite of uh, uh, possible problems and they, they should really continue and I want to say also that uh, they should not think that uh, to continue uh, in research they have to give up uh, on family and think they should try to combine. The last question is a big one. How do you hope that science will change and improve in the near future? Oh, I, I strongly believe in, uh, in science uh, uh, for humanity. Um, I, for example, I think uh, science uh, uh, will be the key uh, for solving uh, climate problems. So at least this is what I hope. And, and, and for the problem, you have a fantastic example uh, uh, in medicine with the uh, COVID vaccine, uh, which uh, now the Nobel Prize uh, exactly on, on this topic. Uh, so uh, I, I, I am a strongly a uh, believer in, in uh, what science can do for, for uh, mankind. Like, it takes some time, one has to be patient and uh, not to go too fast towards uh, application to, uh, to uh, do research, basic research takes a lot of time and our field is an example of that. It has taken almost 40 years from the first discovery to the beginning of uh, applications. Thank you very much uh, for taking the time and sitting with us. Okay, thank you.